everyone. A very warm welcome to you from Stavanger in Norway. We're here for the Le Gruyere European Curling Championships 2013. The harbour in Stavanger. A big draw, as are the cobbled streets and the wooden houses in the old Stavanger. Here at the Sumark Arena. Impressive. Nice facility. We're here for the third versus fourth women's playoff between Sweden and Denmark. The winners progressing to the semi finals. And there are the two teams in this playoff. And there are the lineups for Sweden. The skip Margarita Siegfriedsen. Second, Maria Wennerstrom. <laughs> Third for Sweden, Tina Bertrup. And their fourth player, Maria Pritz. For Denmark, the lead, Maria Poulsen. A second, Jean Edegard. Siemensen plays third for Denmark. And their skip, Lenny Nielsen. There are the standings. Scotland at the top. Nine wins, no losses. Straight through to the 1v2. Sweden 6 and 3. Towards the bottom. Norway. Most country with just the one victory along with Italy. Alison Walker and joining me, Kenny Edwards for this match. And Kenny, there's the situation. And remind people of how they got there and what's next. Yeah, it's a uh, page format here at the European Championships. Scotland and Switzerland in the 1-2, Sweden, Denmark 3-4. It rewards the teams for finishing top of the round warming. So Switzerland and Scotland got two chances to get into that gold medal game. Ladies, the ice is yours. You see uh, Switzerland 7 and 2 after the round robin, Scotland 9 and 0. But we're going to concentrate on the game between Sweden and Denmark. I think it should be an interesting affair. Oh. Both teams maybe a little bit below oh. what we would expect from them. Oh, 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 oh. Denmark seeing off Russia in the tiebreaker to get the opportunity to meet Sweden this morning. And the winners. Progressing to the semi finals. And in the round robin, it was victory for Sweden. But this is a whole new day, a whole new ball game. And there is the Swedish skip, Margarita Siegfriedsen. I'm not sure they've been quite up to scratch um, compared to previous years. Yeah, it's uh, not a great start either, Alison. That's exactly why they've uh, not made it to the page 1-2 game. Just silly little mistakes keeping into their play. This is the lead for Denmark, Maria Poulsen, 29 years old. She's a school teacher. Go, 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 can do. Come on, Pia! Yep! Yep, 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 yep! Leaders is the coach, Anna! Go, go, go! Danish men already on, pressing, so ah, can the women Lippen do the same? Yeah. Sweden do have last stone advantage here. So they're just gonna freeze us uh, back yellow. Now the team wanted to do anything daft in this first end. Just suss things out a little bit. First game of the day on the ice. Yeah. 
Bra. Does enough to sit short, so Denmark will need to make a play and push the ride through. Jean Elegard. And yep. The Danish second player. Actually catches that one the wrong side, but gets away with it. Student from Copenhagen. Been with the team five years. Yeah, Maria Wennerstrom for uh, Sweden. Just going to set up against this Yellowstone and back at 12. Maybe going to bump it through. They won this title in 2010, the Swedish team. Huge amount of experience. There's the rules of play. At this stage, it's now eight ends minimum, 73 minutes for each team. Coach interaction with the clock continuing yep. to run. Yep. Go, 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 go. So it does make the nose hit. And this is a, a strange call. I've uh, elected to play the, the freeze in it right up till now, and then now they're going to play the hit. So. Why the change attack? I don't know. That's uh, a little strange way of going about it. If they hit and roll with this, Denmark would be able to come around this corner guard. Really did need to. Overcomplicating, perhaps. Sit in the house with their shooter there, but. Uh, Lennon and Nielsen not even going to bother. And I like him to draw top of the forefoot. <laughs> For me, again, not a great call. Kelly Stevenson. Also a teacher. From Vedora. Oh, the team for five years. Yeah, the reason this is a, a poor call is you make that draw there. Sweden can hit and roll in behind the corner guard. And then you're chasing them round by the corner guard and you can easily give up a two. So take the opportunity to get round the corner first. Third player for Sweden, Tina Bertrup. So it wasn't punished though. This one also going to sit uh, T high. First end. Okay. 
Tina Bertram, second stone. Does make the takeout. But if that back yellow it is in, um, I would expect uh, Sweden just to play a draw around the corner guard and try and score two. They know they're probably going to be forced to one. I'm not sure that back yellow is in, Kenny. So then come on, more to sit. I'm really rain on Lenny Nielsen, the Danish skip, 27 years old. Really developed into a very, very good player indeed in the last few years. So well, Sweden play the hit or will they come around the corner guard? Oh yeah. Jeg tænker ikke ofte, det er min side lige nu. Ja. <laughs> All right, so to play the hit. So maybe just uh, shows yeah. how maybe negative uh, Sweden are calling this game and just the confidence isn't there. So it's like they don't want to be too ambitious. Certainly not at this stage. Maria Pritz plays the skip stones. Fourth player for Sweden. They certainly haven't looked at their best this week. And I've seen them. So the two stones swap positions. Yeah, I'm sure she's one. Bare så fanden det op. Tag den ud fra. Åbn her. Ja, det synes jeg faktisk også. Åbn her. Jeg tror ikke rigtig vi kontrollerer det der sving indenfra. Okay. Ja, så some interesting calls being made here in the first. I think uh, it's purely down to the situation. It's at the, the playoff stages now. These guys really don't want to go home without a medal. And there are four teams, so one will. Yep. I think that's quite, quite a tough side to the game, to this championship. I think has done enough though. Jams the, the red back on to the yellow. Just looking at that, I think uh, both stones must be out of the play. This one's just going to be thrown away by Maria Pritz. They're going to keep a hold of that last stone advantage. We'll need to be a little bit more creative than they were in the first if we're going to score any more than a single point. I have a feeling there might be one or two mistakes in this game. It could be pretty crucial when it comes to who's going to emerge the winner. As was after the first end, Sweden nil, Denmark nil.
Here you see the impressive Sumar Karina. Opened in 2010. You can ice skate, you can speed skate, ice hockey, and curling as well. Very versatile winter sports facility. As Denmark get his back underway in the second end. And to get excited about really after the first end, Kenny, when can we expect one of the both of them to start making a move? Is that a fairly positive sign there? Yeah, it's a positive sign. Um, Maria Pritz just indicating to Margareta Sigfriksson to throw the corner guard. Just going to ignore that shot stone in the house. Four rock, three guard zone here at the Europeans. So, first four stones if they're shot of the scoring area. And over the hog line, it's just passing now the red strip on the ice. It can't be removed from play. So we should get a few more stones in play than we did in the first end. Let's check out the 1v2 to our left, Switzerland against Scotland. First end on the last stone. Yeah, Scotland team, your head already sitting one. Just going to throw that one away. A little bit too risky to go after something in there. Just making sure of that one, and she did. And after the first end, it's Scotland, Switzerland nil, no, Scotland one. Yeah, our feature game between Sweden and Denmark. Already more to talk about than uh, the first end here in the second. Denmark have had that extra game to play. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? It can be a good thing because um, it keeps you momentum going, keeps rhythm going. If you've had a, a morning or an afternoon off, maybe just uh, relax a little bit, take your eye off the, the game. And if you're uh, playing all the time, you're, you keep focused. Sat behind the Danish girls in the bus coming in this morning. One had headphones in, one was playing a game, one was chatting. I guess everybody has different ways of preparing. Whatever works for them. Yeah, so hits and rolls to the wings. That's actually quite a good shot because now Denmark will play the hit in this and play rolling behind the guards, and it would be behind T, so Sweden would be able to come along and just freeze up against it. Standing well back off this one. Just pushed that one a little high. And rolls out of play. And Sweden will be rewarded for throwing them guards. Okay, 
There's a timer. What are we looking at? 14? I'm probably looking at about 14 and a half, I think, Alison. See, this one's probably going to slip back of T. A little heavy. Yep, travelling a little bit further than they'd, they would have wanted. Still could be useful, though. <laughs> So this went down into the forefoot. Sweden should be able to come down, maybe battering weight, just push the, the yellow through and roll in behind that long guard. If they can do that, they'd be looking pretty strong. Tight to see if they sit two now. I think it's just yellow. Lenny Nielsen's having a good look at it. it. Will affect what happens next. Okay. Which it could be one way or the other. I think you can play a lot harder than hack. I think you can play Ja, så ligger der en That's enough to push the red to the back ring. Time mark will need to be cautious just about the stones at the back of the house. Can't afford to let these reds stack up. That's a great shot from Christina Bertrup. Plays the double on the yellows. I think it might even be sitting three now, but Denmark in real trouble. Yep, nicely done by Christina Bertrup. Spot on. For wheat and for angles. Definitely with two, possibly three. The sweets.
So we're on to the skip stones. to be in behind the guard. And I don't think Maria Pritz will see any of that yellow stone. I'm <laughs> I think the, the way to play this is just at uh, hack to battering weight, try and push the yellow through and roll. Just in behind the guard. And if you do catch the, the guard, you roll down in behind the other corner and open up the shot stone. And you can see A tricky shot. Yes. So it does over curl, but opens up the Yellowstone, top of the eight foot. Probably the shot is to come right to the, the back reds. I like to, to come around the guards. Yeah. Gotta yeah. make sure you get yeah. a good bit of curl once it gets past the guards, so there's no double. Yeah. Sweden with last stone. Don't want to give them the opportunity. Shot on this one. That's a great scrub by the front end. See it tucked in behind those reds. But he needs another couple of feet of running. There's a double takeout here for Maria Pritz. That was the danger. Yeah, I think that's why the safer call would have been to, to draw right up against the, the Reds at the, the back of the eight foot. It's a chance for Sweden to be rewarded for throwing the guards and trying to get a few stones in play in this second end. Perfect. Deans have done their bit. Now watch and see what Sweden can get out of this. It's the final stone of the second end for Maria Pritz. Playing it on the out turn, surprisingly. Have they held this one? Looks pretty close. They have. And 
stick around. And it's definitely two stones. And it is. It's a score of two. It's a great start for Sweden. And she allowed herself a little smile there. Pleased that it all worked out. It was an important shot. So Sweden taking the early advantage. Two zero. You're watching live coverage from the Le Gruyere European Curling Championships 2013. We're live in Sumarka Arena in Stavanger in Norway. And we're bringing you coverage of Sweden against Denmark. Third versus fourth page playoff. The winners head to the semi final. Smoker and Kenny Edwards. Bring you live commentary. Good to have your company. And this game warming up nicely. First end, not too much to speak of. But some interesting stuff in the last end, Kenny. And first blood to Sweden. Yeah, Sweden were really rewarded for uh, being creative and trying to get something going. It's probably been a, a small criticism of them this week. They've uh, not started games very positively. They've tried to not lose games, rather than go out there and try and win. Been a bit more defensive. Right, what's happening in the 1v2? Switzerland and Scotland, second end. Scots with one in the first. That's Maria Mott. Swiss skip. Yeah, Maria Mott, those hit, and they would score one. So all square after two ends over on sheet A in the page game. Expect that one to be quite tight. Both teams had a really good week playing some great curling. enough but it's short of the house so I was going to say can't be removed but it can be now there's four stones being played so Looking at this, probably just want the, to, to hit this one on the nose, Alison. Take control of that central area. So, after some Foghorn noises coming uh, from the girls on the ice. Uh, that one over curled. 
they couldn't do enough to keep it straight. He was very close to the guard. Skirted past. Didn't really do them much good in the end. Interesting okay, call this, peeling the centre guard off. I think it was long enough to play maybe a controlled weight round it. If you do catch the guard, it's plan B, but if you get round and push the, the shot stone off the top of the fort, the Sweden's just going to peel so, this one yeah, off. So why would they do that? I just don't think they've really thought what they, they, they were trying to achieve here in this end. They're trying to get a few guards on plate. for the corner guard and really any chance that Denmark had of scoring a two is all but gone. That one hit the side which means it is now out of play. down and hits on the nose so don't expect too much in this third end Alison it's, uh, it's a kind of strange game just thought things were getting really going in the second and it seems to have stepped back a pace again Sweden appeared to be the more positive side Simonson for Denmark trying to hit and stay. That one's not going to hang around. That was nowhere near staying. Denmark just look out a little bit out of sorts in this game. times before though only once failing to pick up a medal at a major championships this side yeah when it comes down to it they know what it takes teams just can have off days and can even have off ends It's up to the opposition to take advantage of that. And this time it does stick around. a little fast out the hack, doesn't really settle herself. You do sometimes maybe get a little mistake out of her. It's purely down to concentration, I feel. Well, 
And Nielsen will just uh, look to hit and check to the centre line, probably. And see what they can get going in the fourth end. like they've kind of written this one off. Yeah. Oh. Unless Sweden makes some sort of error. Forces Lennon Nielsen to make a hit and run. Sweden hoping for a nose hit to get that last stone advantage back, but uh, got to expect Lennon Nielsen will be able to half this one out and blank the third end. So final rock of the third. And this one looks quite nice. Half to the red out, rolls herself, so no score in the third. Sweden leading 2-0. Games going on in the arena at the moment. Our feature game three versus four page playoff. And over on the left of your screen, that's the one v two. We'll keep you updated on that. This is the one we are concentrating on. There's the numbers so far. Significantly, the most interesting end was the one where there was a score. Let's see what they make of this end. Yeah, Sweden will just try and put everything into the house. Well, Denmark will probably throw a tight guard. Just a corner. Poulsen. Yeah. Just electing to play the, the out turn on this. Okay. Good support out here. This lunchtime. To support these teams. I think probably the only shot uh, Sweden have got here is just to bump that red back onto the forefoot. Sigurdsson is the skip as well as the lead player. She's 83% of her shots and placement. It seems to work quite well for this team, Kenny, doesn't it? The Maria Prince the fourth playing the stones, skip stones. Yeah, it's a little bit unconventional, but uh, whatever really works for each team is, is fine. It's a bit traditional that the skip plays the, the last stones 
and calls a game, but uh, there's no reason why the Leeds can't call the game, throw first stones. I think uh, throwing last stones, maybe you need your heart rate set a little bit lower, and if you're sweeping right up to playing your stones, um, you're maybe just not as settled. So I think that's that's the only disadvantage, I would say. Yep. Posting. The Danish lead is 81% for the Last. tournament. Yeah. You'd expect these girls' stats to be quite good or they wouldn't be at yeah. this stage of the competition. Go, Hallie, yeah. So it does get around the guard. Just squeeze past. Probably see a little bit on the, the outside. I'm not far out then. Yep. Maria Winner's told me 74%. A little lower. Hey! 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 Gets a little bit lucky there, driving the guard back. Onto the shot stone. Oh, yeah. I'm just trying to pull that guard cleanly. So no sign of yellow anywhere. And the area. Sometimes you need a bit of fortune. <laughs> Come on, Dale. Skip. Go up as you can. Launching line, running is perfect. So I'm not trying to place this one in the same place. Go, 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 go. Again, pretty decent. See if he's in. Just have a look to see which one is shot stone. See which one is shot stone. Very difficult to tell. Does that change her next move? Or she should just go with accepting the fact that it's not hers that's counting and go for it anyway. There we go. Oh, that is close. Yeah, very close. I think uh, I might be tempted to, to come around the ridge to the back of the eight foot, use the two red stones as a guard. Lenny Nielsen is standing, roughly. She's 78%. Shana Lagarde. So I think I've just called the corner guard on this yellow. Hope for a yep. miss or a mistake from Sweden. Yep. Can't afford to put these two close together though. Nevertrip yep. also seventy eight percent. Does uh, make an attempt to run the double. So 
It's a good opportunity for Denmark to split the house. Get in behind this tight red on the left hand side of the shot. Put it on the T line. Kelly Simpson on the lower percentage, 72 for the tournament. So the main focus for these teams this year is the Olympics. Probably see most of the teams that are out here feature there. Yeah, big, big year for curling. Sochi in February next year. I certainly hope to see both these teams in action. Bertrup just rolls underneath the yellow stone back of the forefoot. She got lucky the last time. She can find the head excuse of a little higher back on. But not this time. Ella's gonna walk in here. She's just catching half stone. Yeah. Sneaks underneath. Down the other side this time. Yeah, a lot surprised at this because the two reds are pretty tight together. So it's coming around now, Kenny. So just don't think that's the right place to put that one. I think Maria Pritz will eat these ones up. Seven percent. Swedish fourth for the tournament. She's giving this one a bit of welly. And off they both go. Yeah, so just a again a tactical error from Denmark. Didn't really need to force the issue and go after the, the yellow and the, the forefoot and cover it. If they'd split the house, they could have played the, the end out and scored the two very early, relatively easily. And now it's very much in Sweden's favour. Denmark have to begin again. It's all about the Reds. I don't think there's any need to, to hit the Reds. I think you've just got to play a draw to the, the edge of the four on the end turn come down in between the red on the center line and the corner guard. You don't like make life any more difficult than you have to. Yeah. Det 
So needs to be pretty perfect with this one to prevent Maria Pritz from forcing Denmark to score a single point. To work hard with this one. Yeah, when a wee grimace. Yeah, just didn't quite get past the, the high red. Maria Pitts could hit on the nose. It would force Lena Nielsen to play, play a hit and roll for the single point or even draw right around the outside so won't want to roll away from the centre with this one. with the line. Yeah, that's a great shot. Now, what does Lena Nielsen do? She probably got the, the out turn draw to the edge of the forefoot. There's a lot of stones in play there. What's happening in 1v2, Switzerland, Scotland, third end on the piece at the moment. Miriam Ott. Switzerland. Yeah, needing to make a nice hit and roll, but doesn't make it. So it looks like Scotland's rear head will have a nose hit for two. So some great pictures coming from our American producers here. Yeah, great angles, great slow moves. Every position covered in the arena and on these sheets of ice. They know their stuff, don't they? Well, some of them know their stuff, yeah. So. But this girl certainly knows her stuff. She's going to try the nose hit to try and take a two shot advantage into the fifth end. And uh, Lenny Nielsen trying to secure her point. I think they have done enough, and it will be a score of two. Two yellows, they now lead 3-1 over on sheet A. And Lenny Nielsen, bit of high fives there. As they get their one. Sweden, two, Denmark one in our featured game, the three versus four, remember. The winners heading to the semi final. It was another good end for Sweden. They played it well. And here we see it again the final stone from Nielsen. to find our way through that cluster and round. Yep. To secure the point. Yeah. 
I do like high scoring ends. I'm waiting for it, Kenny. Yeah, it's, uh, it's been the story of the week. Um, a lot of teams maybe picking up threes, fours, and even fives early on in the women's side of the draw. When it gets to the, the top teams, there's not much to choose between them. Well, the tactics come into play and strategy. Keep it as close as possible, as competitive as possible, right till the end. Yeah, Denmark not out this. Only trail by one, so they could just maybe force a one, take a two, maybe down seven or eight. They'd be right back in it. At level scoring. So I think uh, Maria Pritz are asking for a shot to be drawn to the wing. I'm not surprised they're going this side because you're probably going to peel that long centre guard across that way. You'd probably leave a bit of stone on the tee line, which might be act as a catcher for the, the yellow. It's almost like when they play a shot like that, it's almost like filing it away for later use. Denmark done enough to get it past the top one they have. Okay. And that's a nice freeze. By Jana Elagard. Some of their better shots in this game. Watched by the Swedish men's team. Surprised not to see them. Involved at the end of the week. They'll be cheering on the Swedish girls. The Olympics very much their target yeah. as well. And both men's and women's teams from Sweden expected to do well in Sochi. But she still has that wrist um, support, Kenny. Seen that most of the week. Yeah, it's, uh, I've seen her in the past just spray a few out turns, so maybe that's just to prevent uh, the cranking of the wrist. Didn't quite manage to clean that centre line up, though. That was really what she had to do there. You see that strapping on the wrist. Keeps it nice and straight. Whereas if it's not strapped up, it could... Uh, Affect the direction of the stone. Even the tiniest of movement and switch. Can affect it. Well, 
much shouting you can hear is more play going on in the B arena. Two competitions here this week. Yeah, there has been some good play over in the B arena. Yeah, the standard increasing year on year. More and more teams, more and more countries getting involved in the game and wanting to move up the divisions. to threatening these more Whoa. traditional curling nations. It does make a nice hit and roll. And there's the Russian team. Disappointing week for them in the end the reigning European champions can't defend their title they are out beaten by Denmark in the tiebreaker and some uh, erratic shouting there from Margareta Citrison but doesn't do enough to encourage the sweepers to Hold that one straight. Hits rolls out of play. I think now's the time you're going to have to make a play in this uh, red yellow combination. That's what she's looking at. But electing just to, to play the draw around. Bear trip. Yeah, it needs to get past the top one. Uh, nicely done. Would have liked to roll away from that four foot area because now Denmark will just come down and freeze this. Yep, expect that red to disappear in the next shot. There's the Danish men. Great week for them. Supporting. The girls here. Yeah, Denmark men, they are uh, already in the semi-final, defeating Scotland 6-5 in a tense final end last night. Yeah. Really good for Denmark. Should the women's team managed to progress as well. But they are trailing here. <laughs> Only 2 1, though, still well, well in the game. with the first of her skip stones. Yeah, I won't want to move this red too far back. This one's got a lot of curling to do. Just doesn't get the inside. She knows it's uh, not a great spot she's found there. Yeah, just wanted that to curl in ahead of that red a bit more. Yeah. 
90. Så får vi lite vick in där så ligger vi jättebra. Ja, ja visst. Ja, så if uh, Sweden could hit and flop just on top of the, the red and the top of the button. Lite vick. Yeah, yeah. Don't really see how Lena Nilsson yeah. has a shot to prevent Sweden from scoring two or possibly three. If anything, probably going to be in the narrow side with this one. Kallan! 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 Up, up, little! Maria! Just doesn't curl enough. Very similar to Lenny Nielsen's actually in terms of the straightness of the stone. A slight missed opportunity from Sweden there, really to apply a bit of pressure. So Lenny Olsen wants to make it as difficult as possible for Maria Pritz. Limit her options and how many she might get. I don't think we can use 4-8 too much. What about the back? Yeah. Just looking at the ice, I think they maybe just put the hit and check in on that one. Just got to be pretty accurate, can't afford to hit this one on the nose. Giving up two here, going 4-1 down after five ends. Doesn't really bode well for the second half of the game. Hits, and that one's going to roll too far, and it's going to be a free draw for three. That is not a good result for Denmark. And Sweden are straight in there. Big sigh. Lenny Nielsen. We can try NSIs, Maria. I think NSIs is right. Maria still has to make it, oh. though. But it's certainly two. 65. Uh, 30, I think. I think it's a long way, but it's a long way. You see those two red counters there for Sweden. And they hope to make it three with this last stone of the fifth end. Yana, it's very fully eight foot to, to pick up three. Have they done enough? Bertrup, winners from supers on this one. Absolutely perfect from the skip. So a big three in the fifth end to extend their lead to 5-1. I wonder how significant that might be. As the game pans out and the team is heading to the break. Sweden 5, Denmark 1. So while they have their bananas and their fruit and their healthy snacks, let's maybe someone will bring some for us. But anyway, let's keep an eye on what's happening in 1v2, Switzerland and Scotland. There's the numbers for you. All adds up to a 3-1 lead for the Scots. Yeah. It's not going to do much, Anna. Yeah, so Scotland yeah, leading 3 1. Yeah, I think we've got head starting off this game. Asha has done all week. Here Nine I wins in the round robin. No, no one's really came close to defeating Scotland. 
A couple of teams have fought back after going down significant numbers early on, like the Czech Republic. But Scotland came good in the end, and part of the reason is because of this girl, Eve Muir Muirhead. Very much the figurehead of the team. Has she made the double? She has. And Scotland now sitting probably four. And I don't think there's any way Switzerland will be able to score two. This was a fantastic shot. Well played Scotland. So what's the Swiss response? Yeah, Mary Mott just be left with a, a cold draw to the house. To try and pick up a single. Forty-one year old. A lot of experience. Former world champion. As competitive as ever, especially in this Olympic year. Super standing back off this one. Oh. Time looks okay, so it should be about back eight foot. But is it going to slip too far? Hello. It is. And it's definitely going to be a steal of three for Scotland. So oh, real big. blow for Switzerland. Shakes her head. Bad mistake from Miriam Ott. Could that cost her team in the long run? Can't afford to make mistakes like that against a team that have been playing so well like Scotland. And that means now Switzerland one, Scotland six, as they head into the break. So different conversations, I'm sure, in both camps from the coaches. Everything going well for Scotland. <laughs> Relaxed, enjoying themselves. Getting on with the job. Words of wisdom from David Hay. Sweden Denmark is the feature game though. Second end. Maria Pritz looking for a double on the two yellow Danish stones. Makes it perfectly, hangs around and takes an early lead. Fourth end. Lena Nielsen facing four and needs a piece of the eight foot. This one came down pretty nicely onto the T line for the single point. So one to Denmark, score now 2-1. Fifth end. You see Maria Pritz already sitting two red counters. Could she make it three with a draw? It was never in doubt. And this one came down right into the forefoot. And a score of three. They now lead 5-1 at the half-time break. There's the stats after the five ends. And indicative of the score. Denmark's percentages are pretty good for the they'd be very consistent at 80 percent Sweden who are 5-1 up no stolen points in this game as we get underway again after the break we'll watch live coverage of the Le Gruyere European Curling Championships 2013 live commentary from me Alison Walker and Kenny Edwards here in Stavanger. Good to have your company. Hope you're enjoying all the action. 
Great coverage from the TV team here. Sweden in a great position. 5 1 up. And Denmark really need to think about getting things going now. Great set up play by Margareta. That's really what uh, has put Denmark in trouble in this game. So what will have been the half-time chat in the Danish camp? I think it's just uh, try and score two here in six, force one, trying to score two and eight. Maria Poulsen, the lead, 73%. for this game. To get the uh, shot set up, to give them a chance to score. So these early positionings of the stones absolutely crucial. Yeah, it's good. not had a great game. 63%. Yet her team are in the lead. Catches both yellows. But the red spins out. Yeah, it's a good shot there from Maria Wennerstrom. Pushing both yellows off. Denmark start again. Trying to get this one curled round. So, a little surprise Sweden aren't just peeling the, the guards of the corner guard here. There's no need for them to get involved. They slip back of the tee. That's exactly what Denmark are looking for. So, it really does Denmark's job for them. I think that's maybe where Sweden and Denmark are a little weaker than Switzerland and Scotland in the 1 2 page game. Just tactically, just not there.
past the guard. Okay. Okay. Moves things about a bit. Yeah, it was really key that they had to hold their shooter. Lead the shocker in, Hal. Yeah. Double's probably not there. Two Yellowstones, a little level. Yep. Stina Bertrup. Oh. Big rotation on this one. Doesn't make the roll. That red stone. Back of the button still sits short though. Explain to the world, Kenny, what the rotation and the spin can do. Well, it can. Uh, get, it tends to curl the stone the, the way you you turn it. And what it can do is also make it run straighter as well. Uh, if you don't put a lot of handle on a stone, it tends to sort of slide away at the end. Generally about two and a half rotations is about perfect for a draw. You might see a lot of the teams play a lot of rotation on a hit to make it run a lot straighter. It's a nice draw there. A perfect example of what you were talking about. So some great pictures here in the Sumark Arena, just showing you what's happening here in the sixth end. It really does give us a huge advantage to be able to see exactly where those stones are. A bit different for the girls on the ice. It's a Swedish bench. I've missed knocking her the alternate for Sweden. That's a great shot, and on top there. Right behind the other red. Almost directly in line. Again, it looks like Denmark are on the back foot. And being reactive as opposed to proactive. Ella Simonson having a steady game at 86%. Yeah, she's played some nice draws, some nice shots. I think there was a, a need to, to play that kind of weight at that shot. Probably just bump the, the red back of T would have been the call. Hope for a jam. Oh, 
den som har 30 då. Ja. 2030 alltså jag, där vi har spelat. Ja, jag kan tänka mig att göra den här också tycker jag, jag är det bra. Sen är det bra. Ja. Det är okej också. You can see the two benches behind. On your left. The Danes. The Swedes on the right. They're taking a bit of time to decide on this one, aren't they? Yeah, you see the, the time clocks above the coaches. 73 minutes and one coach interaction. I've seen a few teams get close this week to running out of time. Frys eller fram fyra! Ja, 70-75 då. Det känns ju jättebra. 75 också. Och komma Lili här. she has had a really good game, Kenny, hasn't she? 92%. Uh, she really has upped it from her performances earlier on in the week. Yeah, played pretty superbly in this game. Gotta say the shots haven't been too easy. That's a great shot. And a very nice draw from the Swedish fourth. A real cluster in there. What's Lenny Nielsen thinking? I think she's going to come down, maybe just push the, the red that's just been played, maybe back onto the yellow, back eight foot weight. No one behind the guard. It's Denmark really in the backs against the wall now. Altså, der er ikke så mange muligheder inden, så kører vi garden ned mellem de to røde. I was thinking about driving the guard back, which, when you're five one down, you can't really afford to waste a stone by doing that. Jeg kan bedst lige garde. Men du ligger ikke. If the guard had been a, a yellow, yeah. your own stone that you'd be firing back, but... Så efter lader vi hende her. I think that is the call. Sådan en guard ude foran. Så kan du finde på at lægge garden, eller gå ned over på her. Altså ligesom træerne ligger nu, ikke? Det er også svært at spille. Men det vil efterlade dig med et ungt igen, så jeg bare får at altså, åbne lidt op. Til at komme ned til det her, håbende. Hun ligger en, ikke? Jo. Håbende. 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 So Lena Nielsen, 75%, trying to throw some heat with this one. Drives it back. How's your luck? I don't think she's had any luck there. Okay. Peels her own one out. Off the button. One red goes, but another shifts slightly. But didn't really achieve anything as far as they were, were concerned. Vilken hand vill du spela, Maria? Ja, det är vilket som. Yeah, that's why it probably wasn't the call. So Maria Pretz will probably just throw this one on top of the eight foot. See, it's going to be really difficult. Sweden could put one just on the centre line. Let's see that here. 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 Let
Fritz. With her final story. Want this one quite tight to the house. It's pretty nice there. Lena Nielsen just got the edge of the button. Probably need to come down at back button weight just to nudge the, the red across and hold the shooter. This is real difficult stuff for Team Denmark now. She could really do with this working out this time to keep Denmark in this game. Last stone of the sixth end. So once again, clock running on the right hand side of the screen. Just going to indicate how quick the ice is here at the Sumar Arena. And this one over curling. And it's going to be another steal for Sweden. A two this time though. And the score 7 1 after six ends. It just hasn't happened for Lenny Nielsen and her team. Those final stones just haven't been curling for her. And is there any way back now, I wonder, after six ends? Sweden 7, Denmark 1. Yeah, a fairly one sided affair this. Sweden just done the, the basics well after a, a very shaky and unsteady first end. They've settled into it after the second, scored a nice two and really controlled it. Maybe it's about time the, the Danes uh, mm -hmm. try some other tactics, maybe bring out the corn brooms or something like that. Is that the only way you think they could win? Yeah, surely. I, I can't see uh, Sweden surrendering a six-shot lead. Sweden looking very, very strong indeed. This page playoff game, 7-1 up. So while well, this end gets going, we are going to take a look at the game between Switzerland and Scotland. Scotland really getting out the blocks early this afternoon. 6-1 they lead over Maria Mott. Maria Mott with a chance though to get a two back on the board. What's this one doing? Scotland third, Anna Sloan waiting to sweep this one out but doesn't need to, it rolls itself so it would only be a single point and Scotland really in command 6-2 leading over on sheet A so Scotland and Sweden dominating the two games going on in the arena Denmark and Switzerland on the back foot and then our featured game It's the Swedes who have controlled more or less throughout. They just seem very, they seem more comfortable with the ice and their shots. Very positive all the way through. Maria Poulsen. Yeah. Yeah. Needs this one over the hog line. Just wonder how long Denmark will continue to, to try in this game. They do have to play the 
compulsory eight ends. Yeah. They're not out of this yet, though. They've got a chance to pick up a, a bronze medal at this yeah. European Champions, uh, Championships. The loser of this would drop to the, the bronze medal game, the winner into the semi final. That's the, the good thing about the page system that rewards people for finishing top of the round robin. It's not just one freak game where you, you may lose the straight semi final. Yeah, I know some people find it quite complicated to work out. But it is done with fairness and rewarding wins and good play very much in mind. And this isn't over yet. They can just make something happen in this end. Could turn things around for them. Yeah, this one gets in behind the corner guard. Now you see the standings. Scotland and Switzerland top in the group. That's why they're in the one two page game. Sweden, Denmark, and Russia. We're all tied in six and three, but the playoff between Denmark and Russia, it was Denmark who won that one. And you see the two teams at the bottom, Norway and Italy, on with that, with a single win. Yeah. And Latvia hey. and Czech Republic, hey. good European championships hey, hey. for them. Russia. Stepping up, getting a few wins. Mark elected to make a play on the, the Reds. What they could do is maybe draw in, round in behind. The Reds or draw right in on top of the, the yellow in behind the corner. I'd like them to move some stones around. Enough weight in that one. So will Sweden peel the guard, or I like to play the takeout in the shot stone. Bit of a difference in the timing there for both teams. Makes contact with the yellow. It was a little bit uh, close to being right past the, the edge of it. Looked a bit of a random shot, to be honest. Wondered where it was going. Things along. It's actually not a bad situation now. Double and yellow is probably going to run back onto the, the red at the back, back 12. So. Just got to be a little careful with this. Cut 
catch this a little high. Pull the shooter away. Does enough though, removes one of the yellows. Giving up two in the seventh wouldn't be a disaster for Sweden. They're in a very comfortable position. Nice hit and roll. I will. Yeah, picks a nice rolling behind the guard. There's a double there. If you look at the double, that yellow's probably going to go back onto the, the red. So I think the nose hit would probably be the call. A reminder for people watching how it's all worked out, Kenny. Yeah, Scotland, Switzerland, because they topped the round robin, they got a chance to progress to the gold medal game. And 3-4, which was Sweden and Denmark. They also have a chance to get to the gold medal game, but they would have to go through the semi-final route. And if you lose this game, they would drop into the bronze medal game. And it does happen that if you finish fourth in the round robin, you can end up winning. And it has happened. So a lot to play for here for sure. Maria Pritz just, uh, I think, going for the nose hit. It's a sensible option. Doesn't bother, goes for the double, makes it perfectly. That was deceptive. Didn't look as if it was on initially. I don't think they knew they were going to hit it just quite right. They're standing off it. But that's a team playing with confidence, isn't it? Yeah, certainly a skip playing with confidence as well. Denmark really only left with a, a draw round. Maybe corner frees the red in behind. This one. Just not curling. We'll set short, so it's going to force Sweden to make a play, but you're not going to expect Maria Pritz to miss this one. Been so accurate at the takeouts in this game. Det behöver ju vara liksom köpper och inte sätta fasten. Ja. Ja. Mm. Ja. Mm. 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 Has done enough to move the yellow. They have yeah. takes it off the, the red as well. But a single point for Denmark isn't really going to be enough. This is what they're talking about. Do they want to retain last stone advantage or do they want to take the one? And 
Well, they have a think about that. Let's have a look at the playoff between one and two, Switzerland and Scotland. There's the scenario, seventh end. Yeah, Scotland's even Muirhead with a chance to really finish this game off. She could drive this guard back onto the one in the forefoot, pick up possibly four. They've really taken the game to the Swiss. Pretty close with this one. Great shot, it will be a big four. So 10-2 the score. And it is game over, Kenny. They called it quits there. It won't be game over because they've got to play okay. eight, eight ends. 10s, of course. They were shaking hands. So they just go through the motions now, presumably. Yeah, that's exactly it. Back on a featured game. Lenny Nielsen did, in fact, make that draw and picked up another point, but it's not going to be enough. Would she have been better just not taking anything? Would it have made any difference? I don't think so at this stage, Alison. You're running out of ends. You've really got to score more than a single point. And that's why we've seen Marie Mott just want to throw the game away over on sheet eight. They know they're probably not going to get back into the game. Yep. So there you see it, 7-2. Ends five and six, really strong for Sweden. So I wonder how long the Danes will continue to go on after this end. I guess it just depends on who scores what and how many. If it stays as it is, it will be Sweden who progress to play Switzerland. Scots go straight into the final. So Sweden trying to play the tick shot. I think they've maybe just pushed it a little far. They haven't. Absolutely perfect. Everything Sweden try at the moment is working. Denmark just not getting a break at all. Sweden just trying to keep this uh, centre line open. Should they get in trouble, they can draw with the last one. Comparison of the leads, Secretson and Poulsen. Secretson with her draws, absolutely spot on. Yeah, 
So Denmark continuing with the centre guard option. Sometimes you might see uh, teams go with the, the corner guard and doing it, doing it that way is you force teams to play against two or three rather than maybe just a single round the round the centre. But the way Maria Pritz has been playing, you could expect she would make that last drop. Let's take a look at the seconds. Maria winners from 68%. You would expect yeah, yeah. she would be the team that's uh, only scored two points, but uh, not a great game for the no. second. But, uh, she's finding herself in the team that's Heck. got oh, the upper yeah. hand. So I yeah. think uh, Denmark really just going through the motions now, Alison. I think they know this game's gone. They could live to fight another day, though. So that they've actually found a nice place with this guard. If they drive it on the out turn off the centre line, they could catch it on the red, bounce down into the house. So if they try and peel the two of them, they might fire the yellow back onto the one that they ticked earlier on in the end. Plenty for Lenny Nielsen to think about. Yeah, but if you just needs to find the high side for this one. Finds the nose, but makes two guards go away. Kind of half shot that Allison. Get what uh, they set out to achieve. So at some point, Denmark are going to need to come into the house. Probably with Lena Nielsen's first one. So expect this guard to disappear. for Christina Bertrup. It's been a very comprehensive display from the third as well. Christina Bertrup, 100% in her draws. Although Simonson has a better overall percentage. actually stats wise haven't played that badly now the difficulty for Lena Nielsen has been pretty high for her shots but uh, the rest of the team uh, Ella Simonson and uh, um, Poulsen has uh, they've been pretty high they've been mid 80s and 90s so Everything seemed to be going right for her. So we didn't try and just peel the guard, but get lucky and take the, sh the shot stored in the house as well. So I think uh, it's just one of those days for Denmark that nothing is going right and the opposing teams making everything.
So we think this is going to be the last stone of the page 1-2 game. Miriam Ott looking for a takeout on the Scottish stone, back of the 8 foot. She trails 10-2. And I think enough is enough. Scotland will progress to the final. Yep, well played to Scotland. They've yet to lose a game. They're into the gold medal game. Final score, Switzerland 3, Scotland 10. Switzerland into the semi-final. Against, well, most likely Sweden. Not quite over yet. But the Scots in great shape. Yeah, really have been dominant this week. And just been watching them so far. I would uh, say they'd be favourites for the Olympic title at the moment. I'm sure Canada might have something to say about that, and perhaps America also. It's all about coming yeah. into form at the right time. Yeah, not long to go till the Olympics. That's really what this, these teams are focusing on, as we've uh, spoke about before. This is a sort of practice for the Olympics, a warm-up event. But they'll want to still manage to... They'll well, want to win this, although it's maybe not as important as the Olympics. But it's still uh, one that everyone wants to win. And the European countries are very strong. In curling. This team, Sweden, will be one of the contenders. They certainly upped their game from the round robin, without question. Here's comparison of the force. Skip stones, in effect. And look at that, 94% to 68, 100% hits, 81% draws for Maria Pritz. Yeah, convincing performance by the skip. Really shooting the lights out this afternoon. Lenny Nielsen has had some difficult final stones, difficult shots. And mixed with that and a little bit of bad luck as well. Nothing's really gone the way of the Danes in this page playoff game. This one just going to overcurl. How many times have we said that? Yeah, so close, but so far. Maria Pritz already making her way down the ice. They know that should they make this, they would probably go on to win this game and progress to the semi-final against Switzerland. Denmark would drop into that bronze medal game. So a chance of a medal, not all gone, but it wouldn't be the colour they were after. Can Maria Pritz do? Can she move this yellow? She can. She hangs around, scores three, and the handshake is offered. 10 2 on sheet D. It was a comprehensive performance from the Swedish team. They go forward to the semi final game against the Swiss, Denmark, into the bronze medal game. They didn't really put a foot wrong, a stone wrong, everything worked out. Good strategy. And very happy. The European Championship bid continues. And the Swedish fans enjoyed that. Plenty for them to cheer about this afternoon. Victory for Sweden and victory for Scotland. So, Maria Pritz beginning to hit some form here at the European Championships. 
I'm sure she'll be pretty confident going into this semi-final. Losing out to Scotland's Eve Muirhead last year at the World Championships final. And I'm sure she'll want another shot at the young Scots side to get one over on them. So, Sweden, Denmark was the feature game, fifth end. Maria Pritz with a chance to draw for three. She needed to be fully in the eight foot. This one came down right on to the tee line. Sixth end. And Lena Nielsen facing three, having to draw the edge of the one foot. But this one just not enough weight, over curled. And it was a steal of two. Eighth end. Denmark lying one in behind the corner guard, Maria Pritz. See enough to play the takeout. Hits on the nose, hangs around, picks up three, and run out eventually. Well, 10 2. So, Denmark into the bronze medal game elsewhere. Switzerland. They will play Sweden in the semi-final and the chance to get a chance to play Scotland for the gold medal. There's the page format. Scotland into the final and the gold medal game. Switzerland, they drop down to play Sweden, while Denmark await the loser of the semi-final. Congratulations, that was a fine performance from your team today. Uh, yes, it was a very good uh, game to get today and uh, we, were, we were very consistent in our play and uh, yeah, it felt really good today. And into the final, how does that feel? Uh, into the semi-final, <laughs> yeah, uh, it feels good. Uh, we were really look looking forward to that game and we're taking one game at a time and uh, we really want to win this game tonight. You've had a mixture of, of performances through the week. Do you feel this is this is your moment that you're picking up, that the form is coming? I I, I think we felt that earlier in the week, um, but uh, we definitely um, well feel that we are in in the right spot, and we like our play now, and we play really well, and, and we we um, are really getting along with the ice and the stones, and, and uh, we feel that this is uh, the the game that we are used to playing. I know you don't like picking out players for special praise, but Maria had a very good day today. Yes, she had. She she had a really good day today. Made the, almost all, all of her shots. So, and do you think you can go all the way in this? Uh, yes, of course we do. Okay. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. So that was winning skip, Margareta Sigrigson. Sweden defeating Denmark 10-2 in the 3-4 game. Scotland were winners over Switzerland 10-3 in the page 1-2. But from Alison and myself, Kenny Edwards, thanks for listening.